Luna, a name synonymous with innovation and intricate lore, isn't your typical K-pop girl group. Their story is one of meticulous planning, a lengthy pre-debut project, and a dedicated fanbase, forever etched in K-pop history. This documentary delves into the captivating journey of Luna, from their individual introductions to chart-topping success and their recent disbandment. The pre-debut project, Unveiling the Luniverse. In October 2016, Blockberry Creative, a subsidiary of Polaris Entertainment, embarked on an ambitious project. They introduced Luna, not as a complete group, but through individual member reveals. Each member received a solo single with an accompanying music video, slowly building anticipation for the eventual group debut. This 18-month-long pre-debut project, dubbed Luniverse, wasn't just about music. Each solo release was intricately woven into a larger narrative, creating a complex storyline that unfolded across music videos and social media content. The first five members, Heejin, Hyunjin, Ha Sul, Yojin, and Vivi, debuted with solo tracks with a classical pop influence. Each video hinted at a connection, with recurring motifs and symbolism fueling fan theories. The project shifted gears with the introduction of Kim Lip, who brought a more mature and charismatic energy with Eclipse. With each subsequent member reveal, from Jinsel's powerful rap verses in Singing in the Rain to Eve's rock-inspired New, the musical palette expanded, showcasing Luna's versatility. However, the pre-debut project wasn't without challenges. The sheer volume of content and the cryptic storyline were both intriguing and overwhelming for some potential fans. Additionally, the financial strain of such a prolonged pre-debut period raised concerns about the group's long-term sustainability. The Full Bloom, Debut and Rise to Prominence August 19, 2018, marked a pivotal moment in Luna's story. Finally, all 12 members, Heejin, Hyunjin, Ha Sul, Yojin, Vivi, Kim Lip, Jinsel, Eve, Chu, Churi, Go Won, and Olivia, came together for their official debut with the EP, Plus Plus. The lead single, Favorite, combined the pop sensibility of previous releases with powerful vocals and synchronized dance routines. The title track, Hi Hi, solidified Luna's vibrant and youthful concept, earning them spots on music shows and recognition within the K-pop industry. Plus Plus achieved commercial success, becoming the second best-selling debut album by a girl group in 2018 and showcasing strong initial sales. The repackaged version, Multiple Multiple, released in February 2019, further solidified their momentum with the single, Butterfly, a song that resonated with fans for its message of self-acceptance and embracing individuality. Luna continued to build their discography with subsequent releases like Hash and 12 O'Clock, showcasing their musical growth. Their unique blend of pop, rock, and electronic influences combined with their intricate choreography established them as a group with a distinct sound and performance style. Orbit, the unwavering fanbase. A crucial part of Luna's story is their dedicated fanbase, affectionately called Orbits. The pre-debut project fostered a strong sense of community, with fans meticulously dissecting Lunaverse lore and supporting each member's solo release. This pre-debut investment resulted in a fiercely loyal fanbase that actively promoted the group both online and offline. Orbits played a significant role in advocating for Luna's success, contributing to their impressive album sales and charting achievements. The Hiatus and Uncertainty Unfortunately, Luna's journey wasn't without roadblocks. In early 2020, member Ha Sol went on hiatus due to health concerns. This news came as a disappointment to fans who cherished her powerful vocals and calming presence. 
Ha Sol's absence left a void in the group's dynamic, and her hiatus coincided with the rising threat of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic significantly impacted the K-pop industry, forcing cancellations of concerts, tours, and fan meetings. This meant a significant loss of promotion and revenue for Luna, who were still establishing themselves in the competitive landscape. Renewed Hope and Artistic Evolution 2021 marked a hopeful return for Luna. Ha Sol rejoined the group for their fourth mini-album, and this release showcased their growth as artists, with a more mature sound and intricate music videos that continued the Lunaverse storyline. Tracks like PTT and Starlight explored themes of hope, unity, and chasing dreams, resonating with fans who had patiently awaited their return. Luna continued to experiment with their sound with their next release, Flip That. Flip That boasted a UK house bass, infusing the song with a contagious and energetic summer vibe. The music video featured the girls in vibrant summer outfits, enjoying a pool party and radiating positive energy. Flip That resonated with fans who craved a lighter and carefree sound from Luna, solidifying their versatility as artists. However, amidst this artistic growth, the first signs of trouble emerged. Contract disputes between Blockberry Creative and some members became public, casting a shadow over the group's future. Despite these challenges, Luna continued to perform at major K-pop festivals and concerts, demonstrating their professionalism and dedication to their fans. A change in the Lunaverse, legal troubles begin. In November 2022, the K-pop landscape was shaken by the news of nine Luna members, Heejin, Hyunjin, Yojin, Vivi, Kim Lip, Jinsel, Chu, Churi, and Go One, filing a lawsuit against Blockberry Creative to terminate their contracts. This decision stemmed from ongoing disagreements regarding fair treatment, financial transparency, and creative control. The lawsuit cast a long shadow over Luna's future, with fans expressing their heartbreak and confusion. Following a series of legal battles, a remarkable turn of events unfolded. By June 2023, all 12 members had successfully terminated their contracts with Blockberry Creative. Heejin, Kim Lip, Jinsel, and Churi were the first to win their lawsuits in January, followed by Vivi and Hyunjin in May. Even Chu, whose case initially went in favor of Blockberry Creative, eventually reached a separate agreement allowing her to pursue activities under a new agency, ATRP. This victory, however, came at a cost. With all members separated from Blockberry Creative, the future of Luna as a single group seemed bleak. However, the resilient spirit of Luna and their Orbit fanbase shone through. Instead of a typical disbandment, a remarkable reformation emerged. Two new groups rose from the ashes of the original Luna. The first, Artemis, brings together Kim Lip, Jinsel, Churi, Heejin, and surprisingly, Ha Sol. This reunion of former members under a new agency, Modhouse, sparked excitement amongst fans. The second group, Lucembol, consists of Olivia, Hyunjin, Go Won, Vivi, and Yojin. Luna's story may have taken an unexpected turn, but their impact on K-pop remains undeniable. Their innovative pre-debut project, diverse discography, and dedicated fanbase have cemented their place in K-pop history. As these new groups, Artemis, and Lu Semble embark on their individual journeys, one thing is certain, the spirit of Luna and the unwavering support of their fans will continue to inspire. The next chapter for Luna may be a story of two beginnings, but the legacy of their unique journey will undoubtedly continue to resonate for years to come. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, as I will continue posting only the best K-pop documentaries. This was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one.